In this video, I'm going to briefly describe the meanings for the different regions and the dividing lines on a pressure temperature diagram. So in this case, we're plotting the log of the pressure just to show the behavior at the high pressures and a little more clearly. A couple things that are important to keep in mind, when we look at this diagram, this is not a diagram that is holding something like volume constant, but instead this is a projection of a three-dimensional pressure, volume, temperature diagram. So if we had a 3D structure and we looked at it end on, we see these dividing lines. First, let's look at the regions. Solid here at higher pressures and lower temperatures. A vapor, lower pressures, higher temperatures, and a liquid. And so these lines that divide, for example, this line that divides the liquid from the vapor is the phase line where we have a phase change as we cross this line. So as we go from a point here, for example, to a point here, at constant temperature by lowering the pressure, we're going to see a big change in volume. We're going to change in energy. We have to put energy in to make this phase transition occur. And everything occurs right at this pressure and this temperature. Other uh, thing that's important to keep in mind, this is the critical point. So this line ends, which means there's no real distinction as we go from here over to here between liquid and vapor. This region up here, instead of referring to as a liquid or a vapor, it's a supercritical fluid. However, in contrast, the line that divides the solid and the liquid, and this line is the same thing. If we were at high pressure and at constant temperature, we lowered the pressure. For this material, we go from a solid to a liquid. The transition would happen at one pressure for this temperature. But this line doesn't end. It continues. And in real systems, there may be other branches from this because there are different solid phases as we go to higher pressures, but we're just looking at one solid phase here. Let's look at a couple other aspects of this diagram. Remember, if this is a solid and this is a vapor, then we can go from the solid phase into the vapor phase without a liquid forming. We have the phase transition again at one temperature for this particular pressure. And so we get sublimation. So look at one more aspect. I mentioned that we can go from the liquid to the solid by increasing the pressure. This is the behavior we'll see for most materials, for example, for carbon dioxide. However, the curve looks different for water. Again, liquid, solid now. This says as we increase the pressure, we go from solid to liquid, as opposed to going from liquid to solid. So water and very few materials have this particular behavior, but is an important property of water that makes a significant difference. Other properties we're familiar with, water critical point, triple point, which is very near zero degrees C.